Good morning, kids, and welcome to another Kids Corner. So I was wondering today if you've ever had anyone pray for you. Maybe a parent praying for you before you go to sleep that you have a well-rested night. Or maybe a parent praying for your future, asking for blessings and safety along the journey. Have you ever seen a person being prayed for when they're baptized? The pastor asking for God's blessing on their new life found in Christ? Or how about even a pastor being prayed for by his elders, asking for God's guidance as he leads his church towards Jesus? I've personally had some prayer over me when I went overseas for a year as a student missionary. They prayed that I'd be safe and a blessing to those on whom I came in contact with. Also again at my wedding, where the pastor prayed for me and my husband that we would be blessed as we started the new life together. Well, in our passage today, John 17, Jesus prayed for his disciples and for his people before God. This passage is known as the high priestly prayer. For his disciples, he prayed for, for protection to protect them from the evil one, for unity so that they might be one as Jesus and his father are one for joy that they might have a full measure of joy within them and to be sanctified or rather to be set apart or sacred or to be made holy and to be free from sin. For his believers, he prayed for that all of us to be one, to be unified, just as Jesus and the father are one so that the world would believe that Jesus was sent by God and that God loves the world just as he loves Jesus. He also prayed for us to be with Jesus where he is and to see his glory. The glory he gave Jesus because he loved us even before creation of the world. He also prayed for us to know God and Jesus so that the love he has for us may be seen by us and for us to share with the world. Jesus prayed for us. How amazing is that? He prayed for our protection for joy to be set apart, for us to be unified, and for us to be with him so that we could see his glory, for us to know him, and for us to share his love of him to the world. As you go about your day, remember that Jesus loves you, God loves you, and that he loves the world. Show that love to the world and remember that we are one in Christ. Blessings on your week. Bye.